Hey guys and welcome back to So Back Sports and I'm so back with another video and today I'm going to go over what happened last night in breaking news fashion. Adam Schefter reported that Jim Harbaugh is accepting the head coach position with the Los Angeles Chargers and this has been kind of brewing over the past week or two weeks now and it finally happened. He actually came back to the NFL after like 10 plus years of coaching in the college scene and just off winning the national championship this is a good time for Jim Harbaugh to make his return to the NFL and for the Atlanta for the Los Angeles Chargers excuse me and this is a great signing nonetheless this is a home run a slam dunk signing and you're obviously going to pay Harbaugh a lot of money but it's so worth it after having Brandon Staley as your head coach all these years and having to come up short and essentially charging it every single time when it comes to being a good team. I think that this signing is going to be very good and very beneficial for the Los Angeles Chargers and more specifically for Justin Herbert because Justin Herbert has been showcasing that talent since 2020 when he first blew up in the scene and been still one of the most consistent like passers and kind of elevating the team that is the Los Angeles Chargers with his quarterback play and every year it just seems like he always the team just gets in his own way and especially his coaching staff would always end up getting in his own way and the fact that now he has an offensive minded guru in Jim Harbaugh who will essentially allow this team to reach its full potential because think about it the Chargers had one of the biggest rosters in the league last year or this past season and the fact that they missed the playoffs completely obviously barring uh, Justin Herbert's injuries and whatnot like that's completely fair but overall that team should have made the playoffs and won playoff game this team should be competitive and but lack of coaching um, in accurate um, play calling and whatnot like that essentially takes us away but with this signing this helps tremendously and I feel like with many people saying this too that this could be a coach that could unlock Justin Herbert's MVP potential I think next year that this is a good opportunity for Justin Herbert to be MVP of this season because Harbaugh is going to unlock his potential that he already has and yeah I'm just really excited for him it's really good for the Los Angeles Chargers who've just had heartbreak after heartbreak and so finally some good news for them and keep in mind Jim Harbaugh used to play for the Los Angeles Chargers back in his days as a quarterback so this is kind of like some team chemistry kind of built in so th this is great too however the other team that Jim Harbaugh used to play for was the Chicago Bears who didn't really look into him as a head coaching op op option for the Chicago Bears and Ryan Poles literally said in his uh, press conference that um, he's coaching or Jim Harbaugh is coaching uh, Michigan and he didn't further any add any comments to it and yeah now Harbaugh's in the league but not for the Chicago Bears and what do I think about that obviously I'm pretty annoyed and pretty sad that we didn't even give him a chance to make his case on why he should be the head coach but at the same time like it is what it is. They already we already signed Eberflus, and like I guess continuity makes sense. But like if you want to unlock Justin Field, if you want to unlock Caleb Williams, if you do take him, I feel like either of those two would benefit from a coach like Jim Harbaugh, who has been able to develop players in the NFL like Colin Kaepernick on the 49ers and take them to Super Bowls in this first year or so, like this dude can be game changing but i do understand the money aspect the year contract aspect as well i mean obviously it is important to take a risk but i guess ryan poles wants to spend the money somewhere else and continuity within with matt eberflus as the head coach makes sense but i just hope the chicago bears add on to the shane waldron staff and kind of develop and get a good dc as well so yeah, I mean, I am disappointed, but at the same time, I kind of saw this coming because it, more signs pointed towards the Chargers, and yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be a good for either team, but I think the Chargers won this for sure, and 
yeah that's about it um please let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the jim harbaugh trade was it a huge w for chargers or what do you think that the implications are for next year let me know i would love to read them and as always please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below for more videos similar to this one and i guess i'll see you guys in the next video